Oh yeah. <laughs> I did see this in the some of the preview material. Like the trailers and stuff. Wheelies offer an easy way to explore the sights of the Costa del Sol. Press R2 to accelerate, L to reverse. Check into it and rate rewards based on your total distance travel. Let's do it. <laughs> this is just so fun and random but great. <laughs> so no, what? I thought we were all going to go on them. Surprise, red isn't. But yeah, so far, I mean, really excellent experience, I think. Still, for me, I think, personally, when we're, like, between the sort of... Once we got up to Junon in Chapter 4 and everything from there onwards, that's, like, I think that still appeals to me more. But I have to say, like, I've definitely embraced the extras uh, more the second time around. The first time, I think, in the Grasslands was a bit too much for me. Like, that early into the game. Whoops. But, um... I think second time around I really started to enjoy it more, so overall it's really brought my overall enjoyment of the game even higher. And so now I'm really starting to see the, the review scores. Can move man, this thing's quite fast. Yeah, there's a lot of um, optional stuff to see. Can I speak to people while I'm on the Segway? I can. <laughs> brilliant. Just brilliant. Hastens whoever drinks it, sure. But yeah, you can't buy any materials, unfortunately, once again. Thanks for stopping by. That's cool. Can I just have this out in the open world? Just steal one of them? But yeah, of course. Brings spot. back the memories. It's just so familiar and so new at the same time, and that sums up so much of the experience, I think, of 7 Remake. Oh, that's a shame. Right. right, Chadley's here. I think we will take a break to do some Chadley battles. Um, we already had, like, the Queen's Blood stuff, and then we had maybe, like, whoops. That wasn't me. Um, we had maybe like 45 minutes of story stuff, and now it's back to kind of more fun exploring again, which is great, but um, I think I'd like to do some more battles. Okay, so eventually we're going to get odd jobs even here. Costa del Sol might be more of a pit stop than I thought. Card carnival. I hate to say this, but we're closed at the moment. Please come back later. And then we have another card thing, Queen's Blood vendor. Okay, I think I've played enough Queen's Blood for my run. I mean, it was within the context, like, they provide enough story context for me to do it and enjoy it. And it was the same trick with Fort Condor. They just wrote me in, like, the whole party getting hype about it and joining in the game and all of that kind of stuff. I was just like, come on, man. I, I felt silly not doing it. And then I'm glad I did. It's like that feeling sometimes where maybe more introverted people can relate where you don't really want to go out, so but then you kind of, your friends rope you in or like your family or whoever it is, they convince you. And you're like, oh, okay, fine. I'm probably not going to enjoy it that much, but yeah, I'll go. And then you end up having a really good time and you're glad you did. And it's kind of that feeling a little bit. But yeah, wheelie is fun, but I think just for the sake of this initial exploration, I'm going to do it. Like this. So, let me get a better look at what's going on here. I want to check all of the shops first before I do anything more. And then we'll talk to like NPCs and stuff. But the bookstores, are c I don't understand the point of the bookstores personally. There's so many of those vending machine things. It's like, why am I... Hang loose. Looking to fiddle with some folios? Like, like, I don't know. There's almost always places to do this anyway. I, just, I don't get it. But, okay. Yeah, we got that one. Tempest damage. Magic attack by 20. What about that? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Later. 
for me. Yeah, I thought maybe they sell you like extra of those like scripture volumes or whatever to boost stuff, but that's a bit strange. Welcome. You won't find a finer selection of items in Costa del Sol. Please, materials. Sell me materials. 90 fire damage. Multiple times. Platinum earrings. But yeah, again, no materials. Word of advice. Steer clear of that CD shop in the back streets. If you're looking for quality goods, that is, we're stuck with every little thing you need for your travels. Hmm. Uh, yes. Do they have a cute one that'll go with my swimsuit? Coconuts make great weapons and shields. Really? Hang loose. How can I help you? Ah, nice. That's good. The fact that they have like a linked one, I think, is good for us. We do have the four slot ones, which are even better. It's not too much of a big deal. But. I'll be right here if you need me. I also do wish Shop sold you something that you can't find out in the world. I do kind of miss that a little bit. I am not getting on one of those death traps. <laughs> right. Is that no? It's the material shop here that I need to visit. One that'll go with my hey, how about an orb or two? Hey there, welcome. You in the market for materia? What you got? Empowerment. Okay. Yeah, I already spent all of my gold, basically. What's the difference between barrier? Barrier is... Hmm. I don't really remember. Now, for the first time, I'm actually out of girl. Let's sell some stuff. There's got to be some materials I have a ton of here. Like this, for example. Maybe not that many. Yeah, I'm reluctant to sell ruby and emeralds, but... Anything that's like in the 90s or something, I feel like surely I can get rid of. Find those everywhere. Right. Uh, this gives me barrier material. Allows you to use physical magic to defend strengthening spells. Pairing with warding material grants you resistance to physical and damage. Ah, okay. Like, fortification sounds like it's a better version. The difference with barrier... I need to look those up. Because I kind of forgot. Like, barrier seems like obviously physical defense. Mana ward is magic defense. But then mana wall is both, maybe? So I'm not sure which one of these two to buy. Uh, sorry, these two. We'll see. So, what'd you think of From our selection? To vintage pieces. We've got right, anything left? There's a chuck. Is this some kind of like. Oh shit, is this like some kind of, again, like game? Featuring chocobos? Run wild. Pirates rampage. Oh. Okay, so these must be, I think they're like, segue-related minigames. Okay, I think we can start looking into, wait, there's some music. Chance to play the piano, it's been a little while. Welcome to the Royal Coast, please enjoy your stay. I can't go in there? Why? Piano concert, oh my god. Of course. They love putting Cloud in the spotlight and making him <laughs> have to do stuff that goes against his we nature. But it always tends to make good moments. 
So let's have a look at some of these uh, purple thingies. We'll start like here. The time Hang loose! Today's your lucky day! There's a surefire way to make seeing the sights even more magical. By taking them in on a state-of-the-art wheelie. If you're interested, we're doing a special promotion. What do you say? Just hop on one of these babies and ride around town at your leisure. That's it. No strings attached. You can even win fabulous prizes, depending on how far you travel. So how about it, friend? Interested in taking a roll around Costa del Sol? Uh, pedometer pin. Ah, headbands are good. Okay. Now that's what I like to hear. And just like that, you're registered and ready to get rolling. Let's see what the odometer says, shall we? Congratulations! You've earned yourself a veteran license. How have you been enjoying your time on that wheelie? Hmm? That's the look of one satisfied customer. And this prize is sure to lift your spirits even more. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely be back. Uh, I want the headband at least. Protects against sleep, usually. Hang loose. Want to know what Costa del Sol has to offer? Then we've got you covered. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. Unfortunately, according to my records, every hotel is booked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. Our beach is host to a number of fun chocoboat. activities. Surf, scuba, and even chocoboat. But chilling with a cocktail is also a great option. What's that? Okay. Um, I do want to check this. The run wild thing. So I can hop onto any segue, that's really nice. Sorry, but we're still setting things up. Animal Animal Playground. Oh my god, that looks like it could be super fun. I have to say overall the mini games in this game have been really damn good. Like yes, I haven't engaged fully with all of them, but I played enough of like Queen's Blood, Fort Condor, uh, the frog mini game. And uh, like some of the other ones in between, even like the piano end up being quite fun, even though I, I'm just not a music person. Like, and that's still we we haven't even made it to Gold Saucer yet. Like that's that's mini game central, and still, that's just crazy. So I think we needed 2,000 for uh, for the headband. I don't know if it was two or three thousand, but so all of this stuff right now we can't do. Pirates Rampage looks like another mini game. Let's see. <laughs> just love that everyone else is just standing around watching. I'm very sorry, but we're still getting set up. Please come back later. But the controls are generally pretty good. I mean, it makes a little bit of use of the the PS5's uh, triggers as well, like the motors and the triggers. There's a little bit of resistance. Feels nice. So I think you do a few like nice long runs here and just destroy everything. I try my best to not crash into things too much, but there's got to be like some races and stuff. Ah yeah, here you go. I want to check this. Chocobo rental. Ah, okay, fine. All right, let's let's rest up. Let's progress the story a bit. I gotta say, you're pretty good we'll go, with that Shake it, shake it. Goosey, goosey. Welcome to Costa del Sol. Have you tried this dance before? I didn't think myself a dancer, but I'm starting to see the appeal. Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? Yeah, he's definitely growing on me. Right. Does he have anything new? Yes, he does. Oh, you have to get data points on the region. Lame. Ah, uh, shit. 
Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road. So take care. Hang loose, my friend. Let's. Uh, we have two. Ah, okay. Cool. Let's progress the story then. Uh, we're gonna obviously have this place generally unlock. Hopefully, like the area, exp um, like the intel points, are a bit more to do with just participating in activities as opposed to just raw exploration this time. Maybe that could be good. I'm terribly sorry, but we're all booked up for the evening. Fine. Some ice cream to cool down? Or are you looking for something hot? Just admit it. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious beach bod. Uh nope. Nope. <sighs> nope, he says. Not interested. But that whole shtick doesn't make you cool. But if you were to hire yours truly as your counselor of cool, I could show you how it's done. Yeah, Yuffie's cute and fun, but for me, she's in like the Riku category of Final Fantasy X again, where she's just, for me, I don't even know how old um, Yuffie is in this game. I have no idea. Um, but to me, she's just, she, she's like just too young and like mid teen looking for me to find her interesting in that sense. You guys know me, Team Lulu, Team Tifa, that's how I roll. So at least that that's one of the party members for which I can a bit more comfortably not seek to improve my relationship when it comes to those topics. We're only accepting customers with prior reservations today. We hope to see you again soon. So then, what now? Tifa! Cloud, my bro! There you Tifa! go. There you go. No way! Johnny? I did mention him. <sighs> Whew. Hey guys! Looking good! <laughs> Same to you. So, what are you doing here? Living the dream! Building my legend! Being the owner of a bona fide hotel! <sighs> Though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence! We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days! Enough rooms to make your head spin! <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> I don't know about this. Don't need to be shy. We go way back, right? <laughs> it's the least I can do. All right, let's get you settled in. Now? Of course, come on! <laughs> yeah, I was wondering when he'd come Make back. Make sure you stick close. Can't have my guests getting lost. I heard they opened them Just bought the place, so I'm still doing repairs here and there. But all things considered, it's looking pretty sweet. Now I got my hands on it, though. Now that's a story. I was cursed with the unholy trinity. No job, no money, and worst of all, no girl. I was a nobody with nothing, hey, walking garbage. But Mayor Capono believed in me, this said I was really destined good. to make something of myself. So he sold me a hotel for cheap. How cheap, you ask? Half market price cheap. The dude even loaned me the money for it. There's no kinder man in all the world. Now, so even Johnny finds himself out of Midgar. And in Costa del Sol. Hey, this could hey become guys. something. <laughs> Behold my pride and joy, Johnny's Seaside Inn. <sighs> wow, it's uh, I don't know. Great. I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing me. But I don't see no seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. 
Ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the nose. Well, come on in. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers. This place could become awesome with the right amount of investment and vision. But right now, it looks like it could collapse at any minute. Okay, let's get everyone checked in. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. Aerith, you're in 102. As for the dudes, you can all bunk together in 103. The price? I'd never even think of charging you. Besides, uh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. Make yourselves at home. It's not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh, fate is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear. Time for that shower? Yeah, I'd say so. See you guys soon. How soon is soon? Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Right? Right. You win. Think I'll go take a walk. Though, I should maybe get changed first. Yeah, we've already had Sailor Barrett. I think we're going to get another look here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still looking good. <laughs> well, back in a bit. <laughs> okay, there we go. Red. Well ventilated, plenty of shade, a lovely hotel. Yeah, made of wood, flaming tail, great combination. Worth trying our luck. So this is my... I mean, come on, this place could be really nice. Someday. <laughs> Hold down the fort till I get back. Alright, Cloud, you too. Time to change. Let's see that beach bod. He's had to, to dress up as a girl. He's had to change into Shinra uniforms. He needs a cool beach outfit. He deserves one. But he's not getting changed in here. I guess maybe we have to go and get an outfit. I assume they didn't come with one. Come on! Why you gotta do me like that, shower? They're not gonna let you... Uh, this looks like it'll collapse if I try to sit on it. Much less sleep. We just have to see if they're going to acknowledge Cloud being a creep here. <laughs> I thought it would be a kind of Easter eggy that they'd say something and tell him off, which they should. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. What's a stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know. Nah, that's cruel. We should help uh, Johnny change his fortunes. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's bare. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that. You nah, know? he's he's gonna be a success. Also, again, I want to see if Beck's badasses make a return. Like they supposedly went legit and they're gonna have their own business and whatever. But Yuffie's Got still not in the party. Today. Tell me you're alone. The beach is for partying. And one's not a party. It's a pity. But you don't have to be lonely any longer. We're bringing people together. Solo sun tanners like you. With a special event. One we guarantee will spice up your social life. Find love at Costa Del Amor. So, 
Will you be joining us or what? I'll pass. Aww. Got plans with those guys. Later. Uh, uh, so, they're friends of yours? Then, can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So, if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. Mm -hmm. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out. And to help you with that, here's lucky ticket number seven. Take it. With that, you can play Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. But not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as someone else's. Mm -hmm. Find them, and you've got yourself a team. Work together, master the games, and you'll earn companion cards. <laughs> you can turn those in for beachwear. And once you're dressed to impress, you'll finally be ready to hit the beach. Right? right? So start searching and let the fun begin. Best of luck finding that special someone. <laughs> Hang loose! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see the way they're just connecting everything together in a fun way. Despite what the robed individual's presence suggests, beachwear is required to access the waterfront. Participating costs Della more events to earn companion cards and exchange them for more beach appropriate and ensembles and hit the sand. So yeah, I mean, this stuff I think is really great. I don't think you have to, much like the, the card game, you don't have to fully engage with it and do absolutely everything for it, but the way that they've integrated into the story, I think it's it's nice. Want to exchange companion cards for beachwear? You'll need to participate in Costa del Amor. You just gotta beat the event's games with a partner. Yeah. Okay, so Come again. this must be again an affection building thing. We have to choose who to um, play the games with. Come one, come all to the best shop in town. I'm to ditch these. We'll start with Pirate's Rampage. Maybe we have to do it with Barrett. Who wants to go He's on there a already. Pirate's Rampage? Shoot down enemies on the high seas. Hey, got a ticket for this thing called Costa del Amor. Don't know what it is, but it's happening here, so... It's a special event for uh, meeting new people. But looks like you and me got paired up. Wait, what? Why do you care about meeting new people? Good question. For the companion cards. What do we have here? Looks like it's right up my alley. Whoa, hold on there. You use firearms for a living, don't you? Sorry, but I can't allow you to play this game. Amateurs only. That's our policy. Oh, it is, is it? Why didn't you speak up sooner? I don't see any signs either. This is false advertising. You know that. I'll do it. <sighs> Just don't embarrass us. Okay, here we go. Forgo swashbuckling in favor of sharpshooting as you aim to hit the fiendish targets and earn a high score. Okay. Switch aim and fire controls. Toggle aim speed. Adaptive triggers. I'm sure it'll be okay. Oh, you get a time material. No way. Ah, what a time material. God damn you game. They're hiding so many of the nice treats behind like these games. And but they're fun enough that it's just like it's cheeky and it's like you bastards, but fine. Alright man. Blast them in the next week. Let's see. Basically like the Resident Evil shooter, Resident Evil 4 shooter game. I can, I can kind of fire like this. Ah, uh, okay. That's going to speed me up. Oh, come on. What was that? I don't think it matters how many I miss, so for now I'm going to just adopt a strategy like go, this. Oh, I 
hat er mich durch. There's quite a few rounds to this, more than this I thought. Your moment. Show us what you made of. Just so much going on, I don't know what to aim for. So as expected, first time around, playing them once is enough. Da, 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 da. Ain't the greatest, sure, but we'll take what we can get. Well done, gentlemen. With play like that, you must have known each other for years. The shooting and the shouting was a sight to behold. <laughs> you hear that? A sight to behold. It's his job to butter us up. Oh, come on, man. Just drop the jaded act for a minute and take the compliment. I promise <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm off to enjoy the beach. Don't leave me hanging too long here. Right. Yes, I have to you ready for a try and good time? And improve. Gotta get that time material, man. Okay. Whew. See you next time, matey. Yeah, I think the difficulties of, of these have been well done as well. Like the the storyline one, they're not gonna waste your time for it. 
but the um, like if you really want the prizes, obviously you're gonna have to dedicate a little bit more time. But it's not like they don't seem to be like super tough. I think the frog mini game might be a bit difficult, uh, but in general, it's a pretty good. Okay, I went to the wrong thing. I went to the the purple thing. I should have gone to the story one. 